We need to make a drawing seed file and I have navigated into the workspace where we keep our primary seeds and I'm going to make a new folder here. I'm going to call it sheets and I'm going to copy our 2D seed file and I'm going to paste it into our sheets file and then I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call this C2D metric drawing and as a requirement for this file it only can contain a drawing model and so what we're going to do is we're going to open this file and make some changes to that default design model and turn it into a drawing model. So in Open Roads Designer Connect Edition I want to navigate to that folder and we're going to open up the file and I'm using the delivered uh, metric workspace. Once in this file, go ahead and open up your properties panel. Then open up your models. Select your model. Let's go ahead and change the name, which will become significant later. Change the model type to drawing. Verify that your annotation, default annotation scale is correct. In our example, we're going to be looking at metric. Also make sure that propagate annotation scale, line style scale are both set appropriately as, as well as update fields automatically. Once that's done, you can save those settings. The last thing that we want to verify is the working units, which you can get to under File, Settings, File, Design File Settings, Working Units. It is important that the drawing seed file, the sheet seed file, the overall seed file for design are all going to contain the exact same working units for your sheets to be created properly. And so verify that your working units are matching up with your seed file that you're going to be using for your design. And this concludes the settings that we need to make for our drawing model seed file to be used to create our sheet definition DGN libraries. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.